Hi, man fans. So today, I'm going to show a video that uh, we haven't shown a lot of here recently. That's Mine Exploration, where Pat and I go into a lesser visited section of the Noonday Mine down on the 300 level, and we check that out for a bit. We haven't done a real Mine Explorer video here in a while. And why are you even in the video? You're not... Thanks. You're not even exploring the mine with us. You're just kind of sponging. So... Y'all know Cleo here, who just got to dip into everything. And uh, anyway, Pat and I are going to go down to mine, and Cleo's going to stay up here. And well, hell, just watch the video. And here we are going down to the 300 level. There's Pat coming down the ladder. I haven't been down here in at least a year and a half. It's one of the lesser explored areas of the complex. In fact, before I got here, the only video I ever saw from Mine Explorers was Tom and Julie. They were down in this section once, did an excellent uh, video, but nobody else has been down here doing the Explorer as far as I can tell. So this shaft uh, was the original shaft of the Noonday Mine. We're on the 200 level now. It goes down another 200 feet to the 300 and the 400. We're not going to bother with the 400 anymore. It's pretty small and backfilled. But the 300 is pretty cool. And of course, looking up the shaft from below, there's 200 feet up to the surface up there where the old head frame used to be back in the day. Beautiful shaft. Uh, of course, some knotheads tried to set fire to it here at one time. They burned the station again, like so much else out here, which is why I live out here right now. Me and my ferocious dogs and shotgun and yeah. Grr, arsonists hate them. Well, anyway, let's go down there. Yeah, there we go, looking down the shaft. As you can see, it's not exactly uh, you know, pristine anymore. We've got a lot of collapse over here from section up here and a lot of stuff down from the fire when somebody burned the station. But it's all otherwise pretty stable. And we're going to try to make our way down to that stall down there and past it. And we'll be passing under the big ore pocket empty space you see on the 200 level in front of the stable. That's its uh, bottom right there. So we'll go down and take a look at that too. I've come across some artifacts down here since this area has not been visited terribly much. Uh, uh, the looting has been kept to a minimum. So we'll see what we see. It's been a while since I've been down here and I'm kind of looking forward to it. And looking at the bottom of this ore pass here in this, this bin, you can see all the, the tool marks here where miners back in the day were trying to free up rock jams up in that chute. They'd be loading the cars here and the rocks would back up. So obviously it uh, happened a lot because every one of these marks is where they were slamming on it with their tools trying to knock the rocks loose from the inside. A lot of history in those little marks. I mean, every one of those is made by somebody who's Grandkids are passed on from old age by now. It ought to be quite the fun job. And of course, if you bring down too much at once, you risk getting crunched or buried. Down, down, down the goo. And look what this critter is down here. Got a skeleton about halfway down. Not sure what it was. Big hind legs and maybe, a, maybe some of our animal experts could weigh in and tell us what this used to be. But poor guy probably came down the shaft and Got stuck down here, and here's where he ended up. So, R.I.P. Whatever this guy was, and just kind of respect uh, as we go on down. We're past all the screen now. At least makes the climb a little easier. Some beautiful planking up here. And there's Pat behind us, standing up in the shaft because she's only three apples tall, so you know, she, doesn't, she can stand up in here where some of us can't. 
Down, down, down. Yeah, here we are now at the 300 level. So that's the station, so we're going to hop off there. Still got the remains of some corrugated ventilation pipe down here, and somebody's name here. Looks like George. George. Hmm. If that says George Ross, I'm going to freak out. George Ross is an old miner who used to work and live out here back in the day. Fortunately, he passed on just before I came to work here, so I never had a chance to meet the man, but the stories he could have told. Maybe anyway, let's get off on the low. There's some more vent pipe over there, and there's the rail, which is still intact on most of this level down here, so scrappers and strippers never got down here and took it. Also notice coming down the shaft that, for the most part, the center timbers in the shaft are gone, but they're not down here in the shaft anywhere. So my thought is those were dragged out of here probably by the later miners for the Anaconda Company in use in the War Eagle in the Columbia. It made sense they come in here and strip a lot of this stuff out of here to use over there. A lot of the uh, J-hooks are gone here too. Some are still here, but I can't imagine metal thieves going to all the trouble to take J-hooks out. That had to be you know, salvage crews from the, the other mines. So, let's get over there, shall we? So now here on the level, one of the obstacles to open this area for tours, other than that trip down the shaft, is crossing on this plank over here and this rail and trying not to tumble down into the ore bin below. It's a nice ore bin. I'm sure it's a fantastic ore bin. And it's open at the bottom too, but let's let's not. Just be very careful crossing on the board and the timbers. And eventually I want to get down here and put some good planks in here and make this much more safe-ish than it is now. Pat not dying. Not falling down the shaft. One foot in front of the other. There you go. Nicely done. Yeah, we got to fix that. You can see a lot of the, the dots here where they were counting full cars sent up. That's an awful lot of dots. Come down out of that work area up there. Haven't even been up in there yet, but one of these days a little more, you know, Technical gear. We'll get up here and check that area out too. Looks like fun. And looks like some pretty good metal still in the back up there. The track is still down here, which is nice. Clean that shaft up enough. Maybe get an ore car down here too. Real old section. You can tell by the work they've done here. Oh, look at this vein. That's some nice stuff right there. That's that's all Galena right up in there. Thick too. Yeah, mud. There's been water down there. That's where this dust comes from too. Heavy rains bringing water down here. Nice gob wall over here where early miners couldn't be bothered to haul all this rock out, so they just stacked it up here instead of slinging it out on the skip, which I don't blame them. Once I started moving rock, I thought that was like the coolest idea ever. So, a lot of rocks. And we got an ore chute here that's still got the metal door on it. Well, pretty improvised, uh, field-modified, uh, homemade metal door, but it's got one. It still works. That's some history right here. That didn't come from no ore door factory. That came from a piece of sheet metal and mine blacksmith. Some nice structure here. Shimmed with dynamite boxes. Yeah, this. 
some lots of history back in this section. And some of these, I think, connect up. That big stope we got coming down off the 200 that I haven't found the bottom of yet. Just got to clear one of these out and climb up there and see if we can make that connection. And the other area we got to clear out, you know. This is kind of a pain right here. This rock's got to be moved, leveled out. That timber work's got to be stabilized, and anything still propped up there's got to come down and be gobbed off or hauled out. So this is the work that's going to prevent this from becoming a decent tour level anytime in the near future. But one of these days, we will get done and get cleared out. But in the meantime, uh, that section is... Officially not safe. Bad juju. We're going to walk through there very, very carefully. But uh, no way in hell I'm taking you know, tour groups through there. Not unless they sign the favors. And leave their wallets topside. Just in case. Pat found a label, as Pat usually does. California number six blasting caps. Danger handled with care. You think? Just sitting over here on the ledge and under the stuff here. I love this this one stall up here where you can't really see it in the picture, but just a small pillar of rock above the stall. Everything else is down. You know, we still got a pretty good looking vein up here, a small one. But I'm sure there was more at one time. It's just what's missing now. And I'm going to try to go back there. Come on through. Just do not look at that big rock to your right. Do not look at the big rock to your right. Above you. Just good. good the, don't look at it. Object at rest tend to remain at rest unless they're acted upon by outside forces. Newton says we're safe. It's not often I do this anymore. Real, real exploring and old sections. But we're doing it today. We've definitely got a breeze coming down here from somewhere, so I think that one of these bins connects to that big stope we pass on the 200 level. And one of these days we're going to drop that stope and prove it. But Yeah, that big rock. I told you not to look at it. Women never listen. Another side drift that's been backfilled and gobbed off. They blocked off a lot of those side drifts. Yeah, yeah another nice shoot from above. So there's a two on it, a lot of twos, but they're all ten. Got a more modern marking here over the old threes. I put a C9 here. But also blocked up. I 
And we have a vent pipe. We got a vent pipe here coming somewhere or going somewhere. Also plugged. No shock there. But a lot of ore passes here. A lot of ore passes. It's like this tunnel just exists to work some big stoped area above. And I think I know where that probably comes into from the 200. So more nice, neat gobbing. Yeah, it's not just thrown up there. It's just done neat, too. The big one's in the front. The little one's in the back. And still got a hint of a breeze and fresh breathing air down here. Tin can, dynamite box. Now down here we got, you'd think it's a ladder, but it's not. It used to be a ladder, which they've now inverted, and they had a small skip on here, which would have had a windlass here and there. So they were dragging something up out of that stope area down below, and I've never been down there yet. Uh, with the equipment I got and my skill level, no safe way to really pull that one off. So I'll look at some more technical minded people out here this year and drop into that section and fortunately this is as far as we go because you know we got a nice ore pass here and this is all gobbed and backfilled all of it the rock they stacked up here is ridiculous so you know i'm sure there's more mine back there in fact i can see it yeah there's no way to get to it without pulling all that stuff out of there. And unfortunately, that, that, that gobbing is pretty much ground support now, too. So before I start messing with that, we want to take a look at uh, the consequences. But I would love to get back into that section one of these days. What do you think, Pat? Safe-ish? Not even. <laughs> That's the problem with the upside down ladder. You know, you the step on one of those and it just drops out from the bottom and you go with it. Right. And they probably just use it as a, a, a yeah, these, skip because there was something mounted here. Right. Yeah, there was there was a there was a small probably a hand hoist here and Yeah. And they were just the, these were greased and the skip uh, just came on up there. Mm -hmm. Just like that plate we uh, put back on the track in War Eagle. Yep, and it goes back a lot. Yeah, so it's, it's a pretty good size stope down there. I'd like to see it. But another day, another exploration. Plus 51.55. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Another area of the new day that I have not been into yet. That was fun, wasn't it? So much fun, we've got a sequel. So stay tuned shortly for part two when we explore the other half of this level.